Hey, I'm Colin Martin. It's another great weekend in Harris County. We're going to do series two of our three-part series on Sip and Savor Spring here at Callaway Gardens. And this time, it's a Think Waffle House. We'll be right back. Hey, we're back. As I said last week, we're going to talk about Sip and Savor again. Sip and Savor Spring here at Callaway Gardens. We're back with Pam Bauer and talking about Saturday's event. So tell us all about Saturday. Yes, well, Saturday's the big day. Saturday's more of the festival type atmosphere that I, I know, especially our, our local um, crowd will really enjoy. We hope we see them every day, but Saturday is the one to definitely circle on the calendar. Just so happens to be St. Patrick's Day. Oh. <laughs> Already a festive day. Right. Yes. I mean, so far, so so instead of just drinking your green beer at home, correct. Come to Callaway. Let's class it up a little That's bit. That's right. We're That's all, right. We're all out of college, so let's let's, let's class do it up. that. Yeah, let's do. And and we're gonna kick off the day with a fun field event called the Waffle House Showdown. And the Waffle House. Show <laughs> yes. Wait a minute. You heard me correct. Waffle House. Waffle House Showdown. So what are we having? Scattered, smothered, and covered. We are having a full, elegant breakfast. Um, compliments of Waffle House. But the um, along with a Bloody Mary and mimosa bar, um, we're going to kick off. Usually, um, you have to sneak those into Waffle House. <laughs> well, that's true. Again, remember, we're classing it up. We're classing it up here at Calvary Resort understand. Garden. Um, but the cool thing about this, this actually was an event they started um, at the the Charleston Food and Wine Festival, where um, some very well known celebrity chefs um, really just wanted to show off their skills in the kitchen and have one of those kind of Iron Chef Smackdown show down type atmospheres and lo and behold these the standards and the structure in which you must operate in a Waffle House kitchen are some of the highest yeah because they have very right. high standards that's right and so these celebrity chefs said oh yeah we can take it on but it's much more difficult than they even imagined and so we're going to host this same event as Charleston um, our celebrity chefs are David Bancroft from Acre um, David Carrier from Certified Burgers and Beverage over in St. Simons uh, Jennifer Booker who is well known through throughout the Atlanta area and actually um, is, a, is a guide for Explore Georgia, our tourism um, partner, and then Chris Hall from Local 3 in Atlanta. So these are, this is going to be hardcore competition, be great. 1030 to 1230. Um, and so our, us as guests, we get to sit back, enjoy a big hearty breakfast, maybe a mimosa or Bloody Mary, and enjoy the showdown. That's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Look, Callaway Gardens and Waffle House in one location, what more can you ask for? But, but the big event. The big event is going to be still Thursday night is going to be the uh, James Beard uh, dinner. So remind us about that. Yes, yes. So going back in time a little bit, in case someone missed the show yep, last that's week. that's right. We definitely want um, our, our local community to realize what a caliber dinner that we're hosting Thursday night. So since we're coming off the Oscar Awards, the Academy Awards and movies, think along those lines in the food industry. The wow. James Beard Award is the Oscars of the culinary world. And um, if, if, if you've been nominated, it is a feather in your cap. To have won a James Beard Award is is a lifetime achievement. Right. Um, we are hosting nominees, um, but our, our lead chef, um, Chef Hugo Ortega from Houston, is hot, hot, hot. He's a James Beard Award winner, and um, it all kind of revolves around his menu. Um, but we have six courses, wine pairings, an opening reception. Um, and then, again, David Bancroft from Acre, Jamie Keating out of Columbus that many know, um, along with um, our chef, Kevin Davis, and uh, Carrie Wolf from the Kitchen at Rose Cottage, along with some other chefs will be just wowing the crowd so sure. it is a it is a, um, a wow event it's Thursday night here at the Lodge and Spa and uh, we just hope that we'll sell a lot of tickets and again the proceeds from all the events any proceeds that we're able to make will go to the, the foundation to further the gardens mission um, in addition um, to the silent auction and the events well I tell you what this is gonna be I'm, I'm telling you I'm more excited about this event every time I hear about it I hope you'll come take time to come to Harris County come to Callaway Gardens Gardens, enjoy this great food. I mean, really, the Waffle House thing alone yes. is worth coming from. It is. If you can't make it Saturday morning, do remember the Saturday afternoon um, uh, tastings under the Big Top Ooh. is is a great ticket. You know, if you if you got commitment Saturday morning, can't make it to this, look for the tickets for tastings under the Big Top. There will be plenty to sip, plenty to savor. It's not just wine; it's all kinds of different beverages. Um, and our friends from Coca Cola are sponsor, so we've got a lot of different offerings along with restaurants to to make it a fun, festive atmosphere. We're 10 days away. We hope you'll be there. We'll be right back to close out the show.
Well, there's some great events this weekend coming up in Harris County, but don't forget this Sip and Savor Spring. It is going to be, I mean, it's going to be, this is the inaugural one. It's going to be the event we're going to remember for a long time. It's going to just be a great time. And plus, it's Waffle House and Callaway Gardens. We'll see you this weekend in Harris County.